Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Under 10 Minutes. What if everything you've ever known, your memories, your family, the stars above is nothing more than a code? What if reality itself is a program running on a cosmic computer? So let's find out. From the dawn of philosophy, humans have wrestled with the question of what is real. Plato imagined prisoners in a cave mistaking shadows for truth. Centuries later, Descartes wondered if an evil demon was deceiving us. And in our own time, philosopher Nick Bostrom sharpened the idea into what we now call the simulation hypothesis. If civilizations survive long enough, they will develop unimaginable computing power. And if they can simulate entire universes, entire histories, entire lives, then the odds are we are more likely inside one of those simulations than outside. Think about how far we've come in just 50 years. A video game like Pong in the 1970s was just two paddles and a dot. Today, we have photorealistic VR worlds, AI-driven characters, and simulations so complex that they mimic weather systems and economies. If that's what we can do now, imagine what a thousand years of progress could achieve. Entire universes populated by conscious beings who never suspect they're inside a program. And here's where physics gets strange. Quantum mechanics tells us that particles behave unpredictably, almost like pixels refreshing on a screen. The Planck length, the smallest measurable unit, could be the resolution of reality. The speed of light might be the maximum processing speed of the system. And quantum entanglement, which is particles linked across vast distances, looks suspiciously like shortcuts in code. If reality is software, then physics is the operating system. You know those strange moments we all experience? Deja vu? Coincidences that feel way too perfect, or just that weird sense something isn't quite right? Movies like The Matrix or shows like Westworld love to play with that idea. But here's the twist, it's not just fiction. Some of the smartest people in the world actually take this seriously. Elon Musk once said that the chances we are living in a real world that is based reality are basically one in billions. Neil deGrasse Tyson says it could be true even if we can't prove it. And yes, even top scholars at places like MIT and Oxford debate it as a real possibility. But there are also some counter-arguments. Simulating every atom in the universe would require infinite computing power. Maybe it's simply too complex. And philosophically, if the hypothesis can't be tested, is it really science? Some argue it's just another way humans wrestle with the mystery of existence. Others ask, why would advanced beings waste resources simulating us? What's the point? So here's the human angle. Even if we are in a simulation, does it change anything? Your experiences feel real, your choices matter. Whether base reality or simulation, meaning comes from how we live, not what we are made of. So after all the debates, evidences and the speculation, what are the actual odds? Philosopher Nick Bostrom breaks it down into three possibilities. Number one, civilizations never get advanced enough to run simulations. Number two, they do get advanced enough but decide not to simulate. Or number three, they go ahead and run billions of simulations. If that third option is true, then statistically, the chance we are in one real reality is incredibly tiny. Elon Musk calls it one in billions, which might sound extreme, but plenty of experts argue that the odds are actually greater than 50%. Put simply, it's more likely than not we are living inside a simulation. Maybe the real question isn't if we are living in a simulation, but how we choose to live with the reality we have. Because whether it's simulated or not, this is the only life we've got and that makes it precious. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious. Bye-bye.